What's good, everyone? It's Swishers. You know, the one you get from your local 7-Eleven. You know what I mean? I want to show you a... Uh, I want to do a tutorial today. <clears throat> Sorry for the little miscommunication right there. <laughs> so, this is for the Wii. Wii, Wii Mini, all that stuff, right? So, I've been having an issue with the forwarders and the uh, wads and all that stuff, right? And every video I try to find, they either make it more complicated than it actually is, or they take forever to get to the fucking point. Alright? So, I'm going to show you my way and on how I do it. No cuts, no nothing. Straight to the point. Alright, let's get into it. So, first, you need a USB drive, right? Which I forgot to take out of my Wii. <laughs> Alright, so, what you need to do is you need to have a USB drive. Right. <clears throat> so once that's plugged in, you need your WBFS folders, your WAD, and your apps. Right. So first, to get your USB loader working, if you do this by itself without the actual folder, or without the actual file, excuse me, it's not going to work. It's going to kick you right back to the Wii menu screen. Right. So, for the USB loaded GX, GX WAD, you need the actual homebrew app to make it work. And don't go to these other videos where they uh, make you use these older managers or yet another ma dude, yet another manager fucking sucks. It, it sucks. I'm sorry to the creator who made it, but it sucks. It doesn't work sometime, most of the time. On these Wii remotes, and I don't know why, but I use Wii Mod Lite. I use this, and I had no problems with it. It's super simple, and it'll just get the job done, right? And I have a Wii Mini. If any of you guys have a Wii Mini, you guys have more trouble with it because it's it's a very complicated console than the actual Wii. Please let me know. I have one. I know how it is, but anyway. Sorry, that's my phone. So, what you need to do is, right, you need crap 3.3b, right? And you need the actual WBFS folder, right? So, I already tried Wii Sports, and it works. So, I'm going to show you another game. Well, I can't show you because I don't have an Elgato for my Wii. So, that's going to suck. But I guarantee you this is going to work. If you need help, I'm going to have my Discord in the description. So, a little crap. All that good stuff. And the people leave out details on how this stuff works. If you try to open the drive, nothing's going to pop up. I haven't tried, I think, D. Okay, you need your USB drive. You need the folder in the USB drive. But if you don't have it at the moment and you try to refresh it, all that stuff, you can literally just go into the ISO with the little circles, all that stuff. And you can just find it on your desktop or anywhere, and then click on um, this game. Make sure it's on the WBFS file. Click on it, and it has to have the code, which I will link in the description as well. You can literally go to um, Game TDB. It's a games database for the Wii, 3DS, all that's good stuff. You can just delete, type in the game through here, like Resident Evil. You search it up, and the game code will be right there, right? And it's going to have the game code on it. So, you load it up, and then you'll see it, and then you pick the USB loader GX forwarder. And I will have a better tutorial linked as well from another YouTuber named is Fuck, uh, Funky Scott. I think that's his name. Very cool dude, but he left some details out. And I'm just showing it more thoroughly. You know what I mean? So, you just create the channel. All that good stuff. It's going to pop up. Right? And then you close out of it. And go back to the folder. 
and then it's going to pop up on your WAV folder right here. You'll see it right here. And then what you do is you just load it back up right here. And boom, it'll be right there. You got to have this folder. I cannot express it enough. You you need it right there. And you need the game in it as well. As I show you, you need to name it like this, the game first, then the ID, same way, and just like this. And you need the USB loader homebrew app as well on there on your apps folder. And we might light. We might light is the most simple manager you can ever use. It's very good. Don't use yet another manager because that one does not work for some other reason. It does not work with most remotes. I don't know why, but it doesn't work. So now what you do is you eject it. And then just pull it out, pull it onto the USB in your Wii Wii Mini or whatever. Go to your homebrew channel, click on We My uh, We My Light. Go to the Wild Manager, click on your source or where you're putting your games in, like a USB drive, hard drive, SD card, and then you just install it to your Wii menu, and that is it. I I'll link another tutorial on there so he can actually show you because I don't have an Elgato for it, but it will work. I can guarantee 100% it's going to work. But if you need, if you still need help, please let me know. Thank you much. Have a good day.